All right, it's time to dance. Hey everyone, this is Ifik. I'm back in my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey 2 until today. We're going to be fighting Big Head Honcho himself. The Overlord at level 63. Might want to be higher level than 63 for this, because I remember the first time I did this, I needed to be higher than level 63, God bless. But, uh... <laughs> Let's see what we're going in with. First of all, we gotta confirm that we're playing on the hardest difficulty, because that, that's a thing people want to see. And then we need to... Figure out if there's anything else I can get done here. What do you need? Where do you have life on subtle? Cool. You have shelter? Yes, you do. Uh, you have... You have everything you need, basically. Alright, just keep holding on to those points. We're gonna need them. So... It's boss time. Don't know how I feel about this. Then again, I never do. Feel a tremendous weight. Consider carefully. We are prepared. We're mostly prepared. I think Amrita's is the only thing I could actually use more of. Hi there, pod capsule thing. At last, you have ascended. Yep. Very ambitious. Okay. Things are obvious, we plan. Well, that's unfortunate. What happened? Well, that's somewhat understandable. Heard. Gotta get that restaurant experience used. Anyways. Meet the Overlord in his pod form. He uses a lot of attacks that just have letters and numbers in them. So, uh, I don't remember what they do. But I do know on the first turn he likes to inflict the status move, so we're gonna be playing around that. Let me start with the triple charge. I'll try to get the Mirage on the first turn, but I think I'm just gonna set up Snake Eyes. Not try anything overly ambitious here. I could use Salt too, but that's unnecessary. We'll just slam an attack in this first turn. And we're gonna be using Health Requiem, because his first attack is a status attack. And then we'll be using... Sapping Curse? We can use either Sapping Curse, or we can, um... Uh, we can just try to get a status condition nailed on him. LRDA... Ooh. Alright. Interesting. Hopefully Gandra's axe causes her to be slow, slow enough that I don't have to worry about this. Uh, Mirage doesn't do much damage, but I could just stack the snake eyes again. This turn, Overlord's gonna use an attack that actually does damage, though. Hmm. Let's, let's get a party refresh and a life ensemble. That should be fine. And I'm not sure if any of these status conditions actually work, so try this one. Okay, cool. That works. There's a void three. Very good. Alright, we have Snake Eyes already on it. So we can get a stunning smash going. You can liberate it, you can vital hit it. If I wanted to, I could use, a uh, the Force, but that makes it unavailable for the next fight, so we'll just take it slow. Oh no, he might- oh, is this his physical reflector turn? If this is his physical reflector turn, I don't want to be doing this. Alright, so, let's assume this is his physical reflector turn, so we'll just hold off for a turn. You have a Bravant? Bravant? For some reason, I did not bring Bravance with me. That sucks. Uh, 
let's get the warrior set up. And then we'll use Sapping Curse. This is, yeah, this is his physical reflector turn. So we didn't want to attack this turn anyway. So now he's going to use another void move. So let's just take advantage and swing with all of our units. Vital hit. Then a life ensemble to keep us protected. And then a multi shot. Very good. Very good. Very good. Alright, that's a dead guy. His next form is not so cakewalky. But we'll see. All right. Yes, marvelous. Marvelous. Not be possible until the Grail is finished, and I cannot allow myself to be defeated now. Well, I think this one results in a game over, so let's just move on to the next option. Fair enough. Artificial god. Right, missed a word there, bud. Alright, so, the here's Overlord, in his majestic glory. I guess it's showtime, so let's get this show on the road. It, it takes you straight to the fight, there's no breaks in between. So you want to be relatively healthy and not have to deal too much with his pod form. And the key to this fight is to pray to God that you have a way to survive his attacks, because if you don't, it doesn't matter how fast your burn team is. Unless your burn team kill him really fast, but yeah. So that, that can be hard, is my point, so... Let's see here. So we're gonna want to take the first turn to set up for Barrack. Because it's one way we can survive. So triple charge. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the Snake Eyes out in turn one. Um... We're going to... Salve to Barbaric this turn. Very important that this happens. And then equally important, we have to get the Sapping Curse. Because without Sapping Curse, this becomes pretty hard to survive. Alright. Now that we have heightened amount of HP, we should be able to start surviving. A shelter would be needed to really close this off, so we're gonna try to get a stun this turn. Yes, he is vulnerable to it, if I remember right. Um, we can start trying for confusion. I uh, wouldn't... Smack him in the head. That usually works. Actually, do I want to set up south too? No, I'll just hit him in the head. And we'll set up shelter now. And we'll see if this make lets us survive. Because we might just be using defensive buffs and actually taking this really slowly. It depends. Stunned! Hey! What do you know? No leg binds. No confusion. Alright. That's a thousand damage. So that was a 2.5k damage turn, and uh, that's how much health he has. He might be here for a while. Alright. Let's try to get a status landed. Now that we have those two up, we can use Life Ensemble to make sure we don't die. That's fun. Try to get that leg bound. Leg bound! Mountain Stream! Hey, we lived. Not quite it, not quite as well as I usually would expect to have, but hey, we lived. It's good. It's good stuff. I want to start swinging hard, but I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think he uses a mountain stream twice in a row, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, that might be too slow. Hmm. 
Try to get some status conditions going on in here. Blinded! Cool. That's good. Regular attack. Missed. Sweet. Good stuff. Midi killer satellites. Lovely. Alright, so he's gonna start summoning friends, and these friends chase his attacks. Thankfully they're chasers and not, uh, other things. So let's see here. We have one turn left, left on Sapping Curse, two on Snake Eyes. Uh, let's just go ahead and explode this turn. It's a little bit early for an explosion, but... I mean, I'll take my explosion opportunities when I get them. So we're gonna take our explosion opportunity. Try to do a bunch of damage. Satellite down. That put him on low health. And he's gonna start shining. This is, I think, after a certain amount of time, the core does something. Ugh. Gross. Rose Prison. Let's try to get him bound. Barrack is still going to be okay. Use Life Ensemble this turn, then. Sapping Curse. Dazzling Sunlight, here it goes. That did nothing, hey. Snake Eye wore off. That's pretty bad, actually. Alright, some of our damage output just got cooled because Snake Eyes were off at the pretty poor time. But we're still gonna go for it. Which is ambitious as hell. This is the last turn I have our barrack up, too. Ugh. Die, please? Wow, that damage output really got reduced. There's another Dazzling Sunlight. Seek. That's bad. Alright, let's try to get him cleaned off before he does anything stupid. You're bound. Clean up, please. Hey, he's down! Alright, that's one way to beat Overlord. Just set up a way so that you can't die and then... Execute him, I guess. Level 63 kill, sweet. And we're done! That's the game! Enjoy the credits. Staff credit scroll, mom.
Hey, so it turned out I only had like four episodes left before I went on hiatus. That's a that's a good sign that I should have finished, but oh well. Looks like we're good. Finished before the end of 2016, so that's pretty nice. So, hey everyone, this has been Life Break. I thank all of you as usual at the end of these credit things. I'm really bad at this. I'm really, really bad at credits closing. Ugh. Ugh. It's actually a really cool credit song, too. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go through the scroll of people, and they're gonna talk about how awesome the guild is, essentially. It's, it's good stuff. I like it. I like it. You get to meet all your favorite characters, like Abigail and Quona, and those are the only two best characters, so everyone else doesn't matter. So, everything's fine, basically. Oh, Cass is pretty good too. Fine, we'll give you guys that. So, as usual, thanks for all the typical people who do their typical help thing. Uh, we will be going to the post game for 100% completion, or at least as close to 100% completion as I feel comfortable with, as usual. Uh, even though so far that's been 100% completion each time. Odd how that works. Uh, and uh, that'll be fun. So if you want to see the post game playlist, is probably in the description somewhere for post game stuff. Uh, but the main game playlist ends here, and hopefully the post game will not take six months to complete. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. And, um, other than that, no real closing words. We're not really done with the game yet, so I'm not going to give, like, closing thoughts or anything like that. That seems a little bit silly at this point. But, uh, that was a, that's the thing I wanted to get off my chest. Eventually, things will happen. Eventually. Um, there is actually a little kink to this party is that because I picked the new game plus and then I thought it would only cap to level 70, it turns out I can actually level above 70 because I have two crowns. Because I picked the save file that had two crowns on it, so I can actually go up to 90. Which is, uh, not, I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna try to beat a dragon at 70 to show you how to beat a dragon at 70, because that seems really important, don't you think? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Marion's going on some good words here. It is something to look forward to. Uh, the dragon we're most likely going to fight first is the yellow one, because I know the strats for it, and because I've also already shown off how to beat the yellow one at 70, because, duh. The next one will probably then be Drake and then be Wyrm. I have a really hard time with EO2U Wyrm. Um, the first time I beat that, that is just... Boss is crazy. Uh, but the other two I think are manageable, so I should be able to get those two done at the very least. Well, I'm glad to hear that these people really like me. I'm the town hero, even though I'm bringing back nothing. Are, am I bringing back a grail? Probably bringing back a grail. Yes, we sure did. I hope that's true, because I want to keep fighting Scylla over and over and over again. I'm going to need to. Man, that's a good thing, Ardaland. Good thing, Zarian. Good name. Good legacy. Every single Etrian Odyssey game except 5, because Etrian Odyssey 5 isn't available in the US yet. Still waiting on that one. Will I finish the post game before EO5 comes out? Who knows? So that's it for now. So hey everyone, this has been Life Because Always, and thanks for watching. Next time we'll do post-game, I guess. Bye.